Joining me, I'm going to show you how to play the solo section for Besame Mucho and how to get the basic chord progression down along with the basic strum pattern that I've been trying to teach my students. I think it would be just a good opportunity to show you guys how it's actually done. We're going to do it at 110 beats per minute and we're going to start with the chords. If you look at the lead sheet, it shows that it starts on an A minor for two bars and then a D minor for two bars. Those are for the first four measures of the re of the tune, but we're going to play two bars at the very beginning for nothing. We'll just say we're, we're going to call it two measures for nothing, which means it's just a way to establish the feel, and then the actual melody will come in, and the actual lead sheet will start once the melody starts, um, after the first two measures where it's just a, a minor chord. That doesn't in that's not included in the actual lead sheet, which is very normal for this type of music or if you were playing a jazz standard or something which in a lot of ways Besame Mucho is actually a Spanish standard. And what we're going to do is when we play each chord, except for the ones that are only two beats long, we're going to play the root note first. We're going to play the root note first, and then the next full strum is going to be kind of slow. And then we're going to strum the rest of the, of the pattern like this. Gonna hit that we're gonna try to hit that root note on the beat one of every measure let's try it one two one two ready go That's it. That's the first section, A section, which is also going to be the solo. So I'm going to show you guys how the rhythm goes of the melody uh, in the context of just the metronome. And then I'll also show you the harmony that I wrote. And then I'll put them all together so you can hear what all of them sound like together. One, two, one, two, three. Here's the A minor to start. And then the actual tune. That's it. That's the melody. Okay, so now I'm going to play the melody with the chords. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Okay, so now I'm going to play the harmony part in the context of the metronome. And this is good because you can just follow along on the tab that I wrote and just see if you can play along and get used to what it sounds like by itself. Here's the A minor. And here's the melody in harmony.
Okay, so now I'm going to play the harmony part with the chords. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Okay, so the only reason that I did any of those is just to show you how they feel and how they fit in comparison to the metronome and with the chords. Now let's put all three of them together so you get an idea of what they're supposed to sound like when they're all played together at the exact same time. Check it out. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Wasn't that great? Oh man, it sounded great, didn't it? All right, cool. So use the tab, use this video as a point of reference to know how it's supposed to sound and feel, but use the tab as a reference to show you where your fingers are supposed to go and what frets and notes you're supposed to play on that. And just get used to that feel of the playing the bass note and then the chord, making it really uh, smooth and flowing together so that the feel is right there and it feels like a metronome, but it's also relaxed. Thanks, enjoy, have a good time. Make sure you practice, hit that woodshed and practice a lot, um, get used to it, get used to that feel and I'll see you there. See you in the practice room, peace.